Picture a time when the silver screen was still in its infancy, when the flickering light of the cinema cast a mesmerizing spell over audiences worldwide. In those early days of Hollywood, where glamour and talent converged, one name stood out like a beacon of grace and charm, Constance Talmadge. As we embark on this cinematic journey, I invite you to reminisce about your earliest encounter with this iconic actress and the cherished memories that her performances may have etched into the tapestry of your own life. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about the enigmatic Constance Talmadge. Constance Talmadge, a notable silent film actress, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. While there isn't substantial information available about her close friendship with Marion Davies, there's an interesting aspect related to her birth year. Like many stars of her era, Constance Talmadge was discreet about her actual birth year. Various sources suggest different years, with 1898, 1899, and 1900 being the most commonly cited. However, her tomb marker bears the years 1903 to 1973. In addition to her acting career, Constance Talmadge was also the aunt of Buster Keaton Jr. and Bob Talmadge, further cementing her legacy in Hollywood's history. Constance Talmadge's ability to captivate audiences during the silent film era and her intriguing approach to her birth year continue to spark interest and curiosity among film enthusiasts and historians alike. Constance Talmadge, a notable figure in the early days of Hollywood, left her unique mark in the entertainment industry and beyond. Among her remarkable achievements was being one of the first individuals to place her handprints and footprints in the forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater. In a move that set her apart, Talmadge didn't merely stand in the cement, leaving two footprints like everyone else. Instead, she walked across it, imprinting five footprints. Her distinctive panel can still be found today, positioned directly behind the box office. This creative departure from the norm showcased her individuality in an era when Hollywood was still finding its footing. Talmadge's nickname, Dutch, also adds a touch of personal history to her legacy. As a child, she earned this moniker due to her plump, tomboyish appearance, characterized by blonde hair and brown eyes that gave her the appearance of a little Dutch boy. Additionally, her image graces the cover of the music CD Electro Swing Fever Vol. 3, released in 2014. This unexpected connection between a silent film star from the early 20th century and modern music underscores the lasting impact of Constance Talmadge's influence on popular culture. Constance Talmadge, with her unconventional approach to Hollywood's traditions and her lasting presence in various forms of media, continues to be remembered and celebrated as a trailblazer in the world of entertainment. Constance Talmadge, known for her prolific silent film career, chose to exit the silver screen in a distinct way. In the early days of the talkie medium, she declined to take the voice test, marking the end of her acting career after appearing in 83 films from 1914 to 1929. Talmadge was not just any actress, she had notable connections in Hollywood. She was the ex-sister-in-law of prominent figures like Buster Keaton, George Jessel, and Joseph M. Schenck. These connections added a layer of intrigue to her already remarkable career. Renowned composer Irving Berlin once referred to Talmadge as a virtuous tramp, capturing her ability to portray a wide range of characters on screen. Anita Luz, the famous screenwriter, went even further, calling her one of the few genuine femme fatales I have ever known. Talmadge's ability to embody diverse roles left a lasting impression on those who worked with her. Constance Talmadge's decision to step away from the industry at the dawn of sound cinema marked the end of an era. Her contribution to silent films and her unique personality left an indelible mark on Hollywood's history. Constance Talmadge, the younger sister of Norma Talmadge and Natalie Talmadge, made her mark in the early days of Hollywood. Born on April 19, 1898, in Brooklyn, New York, she embarked on a successful acting career, gaining fame for her comedic talents during the silent film era. One interesting tidbit about Constance Talmadge is the naming of Talmadge Street in Hollywood, California. This street honors Constance and her sister Norma, running along the west side of Vitagraph's West Coast studio where the Talmadge sisters made several of their movies in the 1,910 seconds. Today, the studio houses the ABC Television Center, serving as the West Coast home of the American Broadcasting Company and its Los Angeles station, KABC-TV. 
Constance's contributions to early Hollywood cinema, alongside her sisters, played a significant role in shaping the film industry. Though her career primarily thrived in the silent film era, her legacy endures, as evidenced by the street that bears her name. In conclusion, Constance Talmadge, the sister of Hollywood luminaries Norma and Natalie Talmadge, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her name lives on through Talmadge Street in Hollywood, a fitting tribute to her enduring impact on the world of cinema. Constance Talmadge, a notable figure in the early days of Hollywood, had a remarkable connection to her first marriage. She tied the knot in a double wedding ceremony with another famous couple of the time. Dorothy Gish and James Rennie. This union added a unique twist to her matrimonial story, showcasing the close-knit relationships within the entertainment industry during that era. Moreover, Constance Talmadge's family background had a significant influence on her career. She was the daughter of Margaret Talmadge and Anita Luz, the author of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, credited many of the witty remarks made by her characters Lorelei Lee and Dorothy to direct quotes from Peg Talmadge. This demonstrates the impact of her family's wit and humor on the entertainment world. In addition, Constance and her sisters attended Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, where they started a tradition of entertainment luminaries who would later attend this prestigious institution. This list includes notable names like Aline McMahon, Jane Cowell, Beverly Sills, Barbara Stanwyck, Susan Hayward, and many others. This highlights the school's role in nurturing talent and fostering the careers of future stars. Constance Talmadge's life and connections in the entertainment industry offer a fascinating glimpse into the early days of Hollywood and the influence of her family on the world of comedy. Her double wedding, her mother's influence on literature, and her school's illustrious alumni list all contribute to her enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. In 1927, the Talmadge sisters, Constance, and her siblings opened the Talmadge Park real estate development in San Diego, California, USA. This area is now known as the Talmadge District, featuring streets named after each of the sisters. It's situated approximately one mile southwest of the San Diego State University campus. Constance Talmadge, during her lifetime, was part of a notable double wedding. She married, alongside her sister Dorothy Gish, and the grooms were James Rennie. Notably, Constance Talmadge decided not to participate in the voice test for the new talkie medium. Instead, she made one final silent film in France before retiring from the screen. Throughout her career, she appeared in 83 films, spanning from 1914 to 1929. And that's a brief glimpse into the life of Constance Talmadge, an actress and part of a famous real estate venture in San Diego. As we bid adieu to this journey through the life and legacy of Constance Talmadge, we invite you to pause and reflect on the profound connection you may have forged with this luminous star of the silent screen. Her talent, grace, and charm left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, and it's a testament to her enduring appeal that we continue to be enchanted by her performances even today. Perhaps you have a cherished memory of watching one of her films, a particular scene that made your heart skip a beat, or a character she portrayed that you found utterly captivating. Maybe it's her infectious laughter, her impeccable comedic timing, or the way she could convey a myriad of emotions without uttering a single word that has left an impression on your heart. In these moments of reflection, we encourage you to share your thoughts and memories about Constance Talmadge. Whether it's a heartfelt recollection or a simple appreciation for her contributions to the world of cinema, your words have the power to keep her memory alive for generations to come. As we conclude this tribute to Constance Talmadge, we extend our sincere gratitude to you, the viewer, for your time and interest in celebrating the life and artistry of this remarkable actress. Her impact on entertainment is immeasurable, and your participation in commemorating her legacy is a testament to the enduring power of film and the stars who shine brightly within it. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time, and may the memory of Constance Talmadge continue to inspire and delight.